The cast of Dune have been causing a whirlwind on red carpets across the globe with their fresh looks and movie star style. Here is fashion expert Lisa Kisber to walk us through the trends Dune has brought to the table and how we can actually wear them in real life, Lisa. Oh my yes. God. So I'm so passionate about this movie, about the costumes that were in the first edition of this movie and what we're gonna see actually in the movie that's about to come out. Um, but the red carpet has been giving us all the fashion feels, but then all these amazing references to the actual costumes and characters and really bringing it to life, but in such a stylish way. Okay. And I can't wait to talk about all of them. I could do this all day, <laughs> all day. All, all right, day. we're gonna start with who else but Zendaya. Okay, so this is such a moment for her. What an incredible actor, what an incredible performer, and obviously somebody who really embraces fashion. And I have to say, when we see the outfits that she's being put in by her stylist, La Roach, we're seeing these amazing, amazing stylish references. Here we're seeing the cutouts, and that's what we're gonna talk about first. These geometric, angular elements that give this stark white such a great modern feel. And that's what we're seeing with all these looks. Is th It's these references to the film, but it doesn't feel costumey. Also, we had to take note that there is nothing bridal about these looks, even though we are seeing her in stark white. And I'm recreating it here in studio for you. So we want to see those cutouts. Obviously, in that Stefan Roland gown that we just saw on Zendaya, her... Um, hip bones were showing, we, not, we may not be doing that, but a cutout can give you that angular element, that really great modern feel, and then adding in a pop of metallic with these boots so that it feels like that dune reference. We wanna keep having those neutrals and then those really stark sort of almost armor inspired elements and then a lot of texture as well. So there's a lot going on and so much to play with, but it still feels really simple, clean, fresh, and that's those geometrical angles. Okay, all right, let's uh, turn to Timothy Chalamet's yes. look. Yes, okay, so absolutely obsessed that the whole cast is bringing it, and we're seeing this in all of these different red carpet moments. Timothy is doing a really interesting reference to, I think, his character. Um, we're seeing Paul Atreides really embracing his sort of dual role, right? He is the the Duke's son, and now the Duke, uh, and Kaladin, but he's also embracing his new role among the Freeman in Atreides, and I really think that this is, in Arrakis, sorry, and I really think that this is an amazing way to reference those two elements. We have the earth tones, we have that really dark element, and he's doing a lot of dual leather. And combining the brown leather and the black leather feels very fashion forward. We saw it with his Prada look, with his Hermes look, and here we're seeing it in studio. So we're reinterpreting it uh, with this beautiful mid-length gown in that brown leatherette. And then, again, we're having that motorcycle jacket feel but it st still feels different, very mm -hmm. modern and different. Uh, so you're not thinking, okay, it's from this world, it's from that world, but it's just visiting here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, up next, we've seen a lot of uh, oversized suiting. We have, and I love this. I mean, I love this because it feels very fashion forward in terms of what we're seeing on the runways, but then seeing it on the red carpet, here are incredible looks, Austin Butler, uh, just looking absolutely fabulous, that oversized element, and then Zendaya as well. And to me, this is almost a reference to Jacqueline West and Bob Morgan, who are the costume designers for Dune. They really have a lot of these sort of monastic elements, these elements rooted in history and a lot of spiritual and cultural elements. And there's something very monastic about that, that sort of oversized, um, really structured look. And I mean, we, we recreated Austin Butler's look because I think this is so modern. We get that suiting, which is polished and fresh, but then we're also getting a little bit of that runway feel because we're not popping on a collared shirt. We're popping on that great tank top, uh, that oversized element, long line, super flattering, and just a really modern take on something that we think of as very traditional, which is the suit. And I think that's what we're seeing with all of these Dune references, with all of these Dune costumes being brought to life on these red carpets is they feel like fashion, but they also feel like a reference to this other world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, another look that is uh, prompting a trend yeah. is uh, the midriff bearing look that Sunday is doing. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I don't think that it's realistic for a lot of us to be wearing a two piece, floor length, <laughs> high slit gown on, you know, in our day to day. But I love that we're seeing this. Again, it feels different, it feels fresh for a red carpet. And to me, this is. Interestingly, uh, you know, skin bearing, but it's not overtly sexy, which I think is a really interesting contrast. And I think that's the volume. I think that's a lot to do with the structure. And I just think it looks really, really elegant. But 
while we may not be walking around with that when we're, I don't know, headed to the library or headed to the pharmacy, how do we do that in our real life? So here we went with some of the soothing references that we just saw and then added in that little bit of midriff bearing, going in that sandy tone, which to me is a reference. Uh, a lot of Zendaya's outfits have been in that sort of sand color. A lot of the looks from the actual film have that reference to neutrals and sort of the dune planet, right? So, and then adding in that metallic, which feels like a lot of the mechanisms that we're seeing on the planet. And that contrast, I think, is what the, the story's about. And mm -hmm. we're seeing it in the clothes as well. And then turning it on its head, we have that classic suiting, but we did do a little slit, because why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. um, but this feels structured. It feels like something you could wear um, in your day to day. But I definitely feel the dune happening here. Yeah. yeah. I love the buttoning, by the way, there as well. Just the nice little, little detail little there twist. and a little twist. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, the oversized suiting kind of reminds me of the 80s. So does this uh, as well, the jumpsuit. Yeah, so I think a lot of what we're seeing to me is Blade Runner-esque. Um, there is that 80s reference, and I think a lot of great fantasy and sci-fi films and stories happen uh, on screen in the 80s. But interestingly enough, the two costume designers, uh, and Jacqueline West specifically, didn't actually watch a lot of some of the biggest uh, sci-fi films because she didn't want to have them influence her with the costumes. So I think it's interesting that we're seeing this influence on the red carpet. There we're seeing that incredible uh, twinning moment for them in the Yoon Jae jumpsuits in Seoul, Korea. And so we had to do it here, obviously, in a jumpsuit. I don't think that most of us are going to wear a leatherette or leather jumpsuit head to toe. I just think temperature-wise, that would be a struggle. Um, and this isn't a still suit, so it's not like you know, recycling your water like in the movie. Um, so we went with denim, which I think is a really safe bet. Still gives you that structure feel. And then obviously you can pull a Zendaya and sort of pop out the shoulder mm -hmm. um, and sort of turn it on its head. The other thing that we did here is instead of, you know, wearing it with sneakers, which I think is what a lot of us would do, try a little bit of a different silhouette in the footwear as well, because I think that makes it feel very red carpet. Yeah. All right. And go. I'm loving your look. Thank mm -hmm. you. Love Channeling it. Nailed it. I yes. love it. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready.